the early hours of uh, Sunday morning, uh, about quarter past twenty past seven, a member of the public has found, found a lifeless body um, of a female in Marathon Avenue, Douglas, that we now know to be um, Carolyn, and we're making inquiries to ascertain what has happened, and at this moment in time it has been treated as a fail-to-stop fatal road traffic collision. It's too early to say conclusively, um, but my, my hypothesis is that um, Carolyn has been struck by a motor vehicle which has then left the scene without offering any help to Carolyn um, or calling any emergency services to come and provide requisite assistance. I don't believe that the only person that knows about this is the driver of that vehicle. We don't know who it was, um, we don't know where they went afterwards, but on a, such a small island as this, where there's a real strong community spirit, I find it hard to believe that they've just kept it to themselves and haven't spoken to any family, friends, confided in somebody, or they haven't, um, their demeanour hasn't changed to what's gone on because that they must surely have a conscience and I would urge them to do the right thing and come to the police station and make themselves known to us. It's a significant impact for the loss of anybody from any family and what makes the circumstances of this more tragic, notwithstanding the fact that whoever's done this didn't stop and help, is the fact that it was so sudden, nobody had any chances to say goodbyes or, or anything like that. It was just, it just has happened suddenly um, and the family weren't able to prepare for it as best you can prepare for the loss of a relative. Anybody that knows any information about the driver, the whereabouts of the vehicle, to come forward don't remain in silence and speak up, do the right thing. Uh, either come to us, if, the, if you can't influence the driver to come forward, come forward yourself, let us know um, and, and we'll carry on the investigation from there. The investigation will continue, there are numerous lines of inquiry that we are following uh, and some lines of inquiry that we need to do to um, e eliminate um, lines of inquiry just to sort of provenance the information that we've got and, and how we can lead this to a successful conclusion.